So why can't you, you've got your blog post, you've already written it, here it is. 500 words, by the way, is about one page in a Word document. So we're talking about basically one page of writing. Okay? And you've got a microphone which is plugged into your laptop. And you've got the microphone hopefully on a little tripod. And you just read it. <laughs> just read it. Or read it off your screen. And just read the whole thing. Here's a blog post. Today is Thursday, September 2nd, 2009. Blah, 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 blah. For, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Here's my phone number. Here's my website address. And you record it as an MP3 file, and you create a podcast. Now, this is, for those of you who don't know, like, where did, where did I kind of come from? I, I, my background's in mortgage. And uh, like probably half the people in the room, <laughs> everyone did mortgage. <laughs> who didn't do mortgage? <laughs> anyway. Um, and this is actually before it started to implode, long before. It was uh, January 2009, 2006. So I used to do hotel workshops to get clients. And I used to uh, advertise them on like newspapers, literally, and, and, and the radio. It cost a fortune. It cost a for And this is when I was kind of afraid of the internet. I mean, I really was. Uh, no joke on that, actually. I was pretty surfing. What the heck is surfing? I didn't get it. Um, so anyway, and. I would spend like three, twenty-eight hundred dollars roughly uh, to get to for the advertisements that I had in the hotel room, and I would get like eight people, twelve people showing up. I mean, it was, it was enough to make you cry. Sometimes, it would, seriously, I mean, it really, it was very frustrating sometimes because sometimes you wouldn't even get any deals out of it. It was just you know twenty-eight hundred dollars, just blown away. Uh, and on, I even remember the day. It was it was uh, January seventeenth, two thousand and six. And I did one of those workshops that day, and I was uh, very frustrated. I only had eight people show up. And the next day, I was basically sulking. And then the, the day after that was the 19th. Uh, and my birthday was the 21st, so I was all like, I, you know, I'm getting older and all this stuff. And I was watching the news, and they, were <laughs> and they were interviewing some guy, and they called him a podcaster. And I was like, oh, yeah, what, what in the world is that? Right? Like, all defiant, like I'm too cool for the internet. And so I was like, well, I may as well figure it out. It was about the Iraq war was the interview. It was just some little short on the news. Anyway, I went to Google, put in podcasts, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And I put in creating podcasts, uh, and I found websites that told me exactly how to do it, and I'm going to tell you in a second. And I went out and I bought what I needed to buy, and I literally, because I had the content, I was doing these seminars already, right? I was, I was already had the content. So I, I wrote out and, and read into the microphone an introduction to my new podcast series, which was called Beyond the Rate. And you can still get Beyond the Rate today. Well, it turns out, uh, as, as it turns out, is my favorite phrase. Um, in the meantime, Beyond the Rate has been downloaded over 50,000 times in 27 countries. Who knew? I mean, and I, I uploaded this thing, literally, I uploaded on, on the, that day. And then a week later, I, I, actually six days later, I wrote my chapter one. And I, I recorded it. I went to upload it to my, my host, which I'll tell you about. And the first one, the introduction, had been downloaded 17 times. And I was like, who are these people? I spent $3,000 to get eight people in the room a week earlier. And now I did this thing. I never told anyone I did it. I just put it on the internet. 17 people found it. Now 50,000 people have downloaded this stuff. And, and I was, I mean, the internet just slapped me across the face. I mean, that's where it started. I was like, oh my god. Right? I demonstrated myself in the public domain, and people found it. So why do I say all the things I think, say? Right? I mean, think about, put yourself in my shoes. This is, it worked for me. Right? Most things don't work. <laughs> Most things don't work. This thing worked. Anyway, just try it. You'd be amazed. If the quality of the content is good, uh, you'll get, people will find you. So let's talk about what you need. Uh, recording your podcast. Well, you're going to need Audacity. It's a free software. And I've got a slide that, that summarizes it. But you can download the software for, po for podcasting, Audacity for the PC. Uh, it's free. And you're going to need a microphone. Uh, and I suggest you spend a little bit of time, uh, a little bit of money on your microphone. Uh, but once you have that, then you can, and we'll talk about that in a second, but you can read your thing right into the, the software and save it as an MP3. Uh, so what are you going to need specifically? Well, here's the Audacity software, which is free. Uh, the microphone, the most important thing that you're going to need for the microphone is a pop filter. And a pop filter, you can see it on this microphone right over here. It's like a foam rubber ball. 
uh, that you see on top of a microphone. So all of you, just for a second, take your hand, make a, a straight up hand like that, and put it right close to your mouth and say the word podcast. Podcast. Did you hear, did you feel the air? P podcast, podcast, that air hits your hand. Podcast. That's, it's a pop, okay? Uh, and if that hits the mic, it picks it up and it pops into the ear of the person who's listening to this thing and it's very distracting. So the biggest distinction between a bad quality audio recording and a good quality audio recording is if they have a pop filter, that foam rubber, it diverts the air so you don't get that and it's smoother. And then you can also, uh, on Audacity, free software, on Audacity, you can, there's these effects and I've got to tell you about these things because it's awesome. I didn't know about them at the beginning but there's, there's two effects that I use and one is, is called compression and the other one is called bass boost. Uh, and it just, oh, it takes the tin out. I mean, it rounds out like your voice, like it's butter. You, you sound like a radio announcer when, when you're done. When I, first time I heard, you know how you hear your own voice? You're like, God, that's what I sound like? I heard a re recording, I was like, damn, that sounds good. Uh, and it sounded all smooth. And bass boost does not lower your voice. It just amplifies the bass frequencies. So it takes the tinniness out. You know, sometimes your voice sounds tinny. Bass boost will take that out and compression rounds it out. It's a great, uh, those are great, <laughs> great effects. And you'll need an RSS hosting account, which is where you upload your files to. And I pay six bucks a month for mine. So there's a lot of options. There's even free options, but I, I pay six bucks for mine. Uh, and just put in RSS hosting account, you'll find tons of them. So, and let's just, a couple more instructions here for getting the podcast up. Once you have recorded it, you just literally go to iTunes and click submit podcast. I mean, it's very, very easy to do. And it's going to ask you for the URL, the feed URL, and your hosting account will give you that. And it'll feed automatically. And when you do it, it's going to show up in the iTunes Music Store. The iTunes Music Store. That's a raging river. That's a raging river. And tons of podcasts, and people will find it. Uh, and it's a great way to demonstrate your expertise. Keep in mind, this is Wednesday of week number two. And once you have this done, recording the, the podcast, it's only going to take you reading one page, I mean five minutes, maybe six minutes, and then saving as the MP3, you know, maybe another five minutes there, and uploading will take probably seven to ten. I mean, it, my point is, once you get it down to a routine, it doesn't take that long to do. Uh, and once you've uploaded it, once you've already told iTunes where the podcast is located, you don't have to tell it every time. It automatically updates.